Now looking at a company that's been on fire as interest in 3D seems to carry over from movies into reality. We're talking about 3D printing, very Star Trek. 3D systems makes machines that print literally objects. Shares are up more than 275% over the last year, hitting a new 52 week high this week. Abe Reichenthal is the president and CEO of 3D Systems. Abe, welcome to Bloomberg West. It's good to be here. So I think this is fascinating. Tell me, who are your biggest customers and what are they using this for? Today, most of our customers are in transportation, recreation, consumer, healthcare, and those include all the automotive companies, major hearing aid and orthodontics and dental companies, toy companies. We really span the entire range and uh, our new customers are educators in schools. So tell me about products in everyday life that we wouldn't have known is made this way. Almost every product that you see today from your, the vehicle that you drive to the laptop that is in front of you to your Blackberry or to your iPhone has been designed, conceived, prototyped, modeled and tooled using a 3D printer. What kind of material do you make this stuff out of? We can make our, we can print our objects from plastics, from metals and from composites. Hey, hey, it's Corey Johnson here at uh, San Francisco Airport. Uh, I've been following your company for quite a while. At this point with your company, what percentage of your revenues come from uh, the sales of the stuff that makes it, essentially the ink, if you will? Uh, for us, it's uh, about 36% of all revenue is coming from the print materials. Uh, that is the uh, basically the, the razor razor blade part of our business model and, and a growing portion and a very profitable portion of our business. Do you think that that can get to 40% or even 45% in the next two years? Well, we have uh, said in our long-term models that we expect our recurring revenue that consists of print materials and print services to be between 70 and 75 percent of all revenue. Uh, for 2010, it was about 66 percent. So your stock has been on a tear, but how do you keep up that kind of momentum? There are a lot of competitors in this business. There are a lot of good competitors in this business. Uh, our business model, I think, is very compelling and unique in the sense that we are monetizing technology into multiple print engines. We're the only company that has six print engines. And we have multiple revenue streams that include printers, print materials, print services, and a growing portion of content opportunities that we think are really going to accelerate our growth. Where do you see your biggest opportunities? In we, what sector? We, we see two incredible opportunities in front of us. One in real manufacturing, and in fact half of the printers that we sell today are sold into real end-use manufacturing applications. And the second is in the consumer space. You know, as price points for these 3D printers are declining, and we now have a printer kit at $1,300, we think that we can begin to bring it to elementary schools, middle schools, and to the home. Abe, Abe can gross margins stay where they are if you keep bringing prices down? Well, we have been expanding margins, Corey, and we have been expanding margins uh, for quite a few quarters in a row. And we uh, put in our long-term uh, operating model uh, at 200 million revenue, uh, a margin target of about 56 percent, and at 300 million, uh, 62 percent. So we believe that our business model uh, will allow us to expand margins, uh, and we've been demonstrating it uh, over multiple quarters now. Thank you so much, Abe Reichenthal. 3D Systems, it's fascinating technology. We'll see if the stock keeps going up. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining us.